Okay, we're gonna do our Whistler video, but at the beginning of that, we'll open up the two of the quads, mine, the Moto 4 200, and Zach's Honda 4 Tracks 250. And he'll go first. I'll show you a little bit what they can do. That's all his tools rattling around in the back of that. Especially dry, I mean, got a little damp here because before we used to just go through the field slow and it kick up dust. Today it's not even that bad. And once we get down here and it's done screwing around, I'll show you what mine can do. Maybe this time you'll see the back wheel wobbling. Actually, I'll show you. I'll go ahead slow. Okay, aim the camera towards the back wheel so you see it wobbling. Uh, you might have seen this in Wagner 59270's videos. I sent him a few pictures of stuff. If you haven't seen his videos, just type that in. He's actually pretty good. He's, he's out in Montana. Beef ranch, stuff like that. Zach, I already checked all the crap for it yesterday. That's funny. I it. And I sent a few pictures of this and all our stuff around here. So yeah, go check out his videos. Subscribe. They're actually, they're really, really good videos favorite person I subscribe to on YouTube. Ready? And he'll start the thing up. Smokes because it has a bad valve seal. Let me jump in around here smoke a little bit.
uh, sheet metal, rivet it to the where the old holes were. Because this thing was actually flipped 180 degrees from here originally and was inside the grill just like a lot of the new ones are and it was blowing down on the pump right here. And we don't want to melt anything on it. So we just flipped it over 180 degrees. I'll show you inside here. See it down there? That's where it used to be. This is our where the cup, love joint couplings are and everything. Damn. Flipped it 180 degrees, drilled holes in the end and covered up the old holes because before it was blowing up towards where the person stands it's running the uh, wood splitter, or the valve, and um, we just drill holes in the end, it blows straight out and works pretty good, save this some money. Otherwise we'd have to spend some money on a cub muffler or something to run off this. Anyway, and we extended the um, steering arm right here, this is only on one side. And we welded a piece of steel to that and hooked it back up in the front, moved the front axle forward, and we can still drive this thing around a little bit. And for the front, we have a upside down bottle jack welded to the main frame. That is because we put it on pieces of wood, usually right there. And that's just if we have a big piece of wood so that the thing ain't bouncing too much and putting too much strain on that front axle or on any of the welds back there. And pretty much, it, not much effort, we just jack it up a little bit and holds the weight and that's our wood splitter